Good morning, USA, and welcome to another episode of the Bernie or Bust Show, unshaved, unbathed, unedited, and unscripted. Why Bernie or Bust? Only Bernie can unite the Democratic Party, and we need your help getting this message in front of suburban and rural party members. So we've been talking about this since June, at least, because that's the date of this post, whyberniearbust.info, and sleepy, sleepy Democrats are starting to wake up, it looks like, because um, months after the fact, people are starting to, to argue. <laughs> this is Bernie holding Thor's hammer. We know he's worthy. Jerome said three weeks ago, Yikes! I hope we're not going down the Bernie or bus road again. If he's the nominee, great, but if not, I am not voting for Jill Stein or some other third-party person to protest. We've, we've talked about this, Jerome. We've been talking about this. It's only a protest vote. This is, this is Jimmy Dore democracy shaming. It's only a protest vote if you write in somebody who's not running as a write-in candidate. But if you vote for a party or a candidate you support, that's not a protest vote. This country's institutions that everyone says are holding so far will not survive another years, another five years of whack job crook in chief. Our country will not survive that. Whack job crook in chief is just one of a long line of neoliberal, somewhat fascistic. He's more fascistic than, than most, but Voting for neoliberals won't cut it for those who can't afford 70 more years of not-give-a-shit-itis. Okay, <laughs> that's a good start. But what we have today, Trump in charge, is partially a result of the no-compromise BS of the Bernie or Buzz people. Do you really think this has been good for the country? Do you really think this take-no-prisoners position is moving this country forward in a progressive way? If so then respectfully, you are not facing the reality, sounds like another grown-up in the room, in the past, the reality about um, clean air, water, pollution, profits for the wealthy, allowing Saudi Arabia to bomb the shit out of Yemen, which they can only do with us refueling their jets mid-air, resulting in thousands of innocent civilians being killed, this is good. I'm, I'm impressed, Jerome. You know the, the terrible stuff that's happening. You have, uh, I, I'll, I'll reply to him in a, in a bit here, but he hasn't um, reported on what Barack Obama did when he was in office. Not, not to say that this isn't true or, or um, worthy of, of saying. I'm, I'm not disrespecting Jerome's um, truths here. He's, he's telling the truth, but he's, he's not telling the whole truth. To the trampling of our Constitution, to the wholesale trampling on the due process rights of immigrants, which has been happening far longer than the time that Trump has been in office, to destroying families, to, well, I could go on and on. Yes, you could. But this is neoliberalism. This is not just Trump. If you, Kit, think this is either acceptable or a price to pay to get to where you think this country should be, and that you are willing to go down this road for an additional five and a half years, then you and the Bernie or Buzz people need their head examined. Sorry to be so blunt, but that's the truth. He's really trying to sound like a grown-up in the room, isn't he? And if anyone doesn't like me saying this, they can kick me out of this group. People need to wake the fuck up. This is not a game. Our democracy is at stake. If, if we had a democracy, it'd be great. And barreling down at us is global climate disaster. That's even more reason to not trust the future to any of the neoliberal Democrats. And on that line, they're no better. Don't, don't vote for Biden. Don't vote for some incremental finger-waving Elizabeth Warren either. Yes, we need progressive policies in this country. We need to control Wall Street shenanigans. Well, we're not just 
going to rein them in by talking them into it, as Elizabeth Warren wants to do. Yeah, I have a plan for that. We need major companies to pay their fair share of taxes. I know who he's channeling there. We need a living wage for Americans and health care for all that doesn't bankrupt some of us. Ah, my goodness. This is the Waffle King. We need a number of things Bernie has and is advocating for. This guy is just way too comfortable. But if you or anyone seriously thinks that this country and its institutions, our democracy, yeah. No, this is can survive another five and a half years of assault by Trump et al. Anyone who thinks this is seriously de delusional and not facing reality. So here's the reality for Jerome. Is that his name? Jerome. Here you go, Jerome. Reality? Do the math. Either unite behind Bernie or you get Trump. That's the reality. Ironclad, data-driven points you can't refute by wishing them away. And I send them to Bernie or bus.info. If you understand the research by Thomas Piketty, you will understand that you can't just hope that the various components of the Bernie coalition, who will never vote for a corporate candidate, can come to their senses in time. Most of these people aren't even Democrats, don't have any, any uh, loyalty to the Democratic Party. We know who's delusional, Jerome. So there's no telling us to come to our senses. There's not enough time for that. That's never going to happen. Both parties have thrown working class people under the bus for at least 70 years. The day of reckoning is at hand. But you have one thing, right? We do need to wake the fuck up. Now, Peg. Dear Peg, I can just picture a well-meaning, nice, but very critically out of touch with the pain and suffering that Tim Black mentions in the show, the Bernie or Bus show yesterday. Love Bernie, but next year is any blue will do year, period. Holy fuck a moly. Then you'll get Trump, guaranteed. If you understand the research by Piketty and so on, you have to, you have to look at the actual people. You're not looking at Democrats. You're looking at independents. You're looking at poor and poorly educated people who were sold a line of goods, a bill of goods by Donald Trump. And so they, they aren't going to vote for Elizabeth Warren. They're not going to vote for Joe Biden or any of the other sock puppets. Reality. It's, it's so interesting. These grown-ups in the room, they have no idea about reality. So Jerome, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list all my good information and I'm going to, on Barack Obama, and I'm going to post this episode of the Bernie or Buzz Show, Purple Nation Review. Feel free to join me there if you like. So that's all I got for today. Keep on burning.